What's going on guys? So a couple weeks ago I did a video titled Three Knife Sharpening Tips Beginners Must Know. And in that video I talk about the importance of angle and maintaining an angle and how it kind of relates to fully apexing the edge. Now no there's not one correct way to uh, maintain an angle. A lot of different people have a lot of different methods for maintaining a specific angle. This is just my method and what works for me. Um, there's not one right way to do this so keep that in mind as you're watching. Uh, don't be afraid to experiment, um, but I think this should give you a couple of the uh, basics. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to recommend is, and I think this is really important and it's going to seem silly, but I think we need to have a very clean, clear workspace. We don't want to have a giant glass of milk here from a week ago that we're worrying about knocking over the whole time. We want to clear everything out of the way and we also want to make sure that our sharpening stone is firmly I guess you would say mounted. Um, these Norton stones have these little cases that have the uh, rubber feet in the bottom and they do a really good job to keep the uh, stone from sliding around. So we have our stone firmly mounted, we have our knife, and this is another thing that I want to talk about real quick that I haven't heard anybody else really talk about. And that is you need to be extremely careful how you set your knife on the stone and how you take your knife off of the stone. It's easy to kind of get into a hurry and bring the knife back and just kind of whip it off the edge of the stone. And essentially what you're doing, or what I was doing when I was uh, when I noticed I was doing this was I was actually changing my angle significantly when I brought it off the back of the stone. Remember we're trying to get a piece of steel in a neighborhood of like microns or less in thickness. Um, so it's a very delicate thing especially when we're working around very hard things that'll sharpen a knife. Those things will dull a knife 10 times faster if you're not careful. So we're going to gently set our knife on the stone and we're going to find our angle. Now, when we find our angle, I talk a little bit about how to do that in the three knife sharpening tips video. And I'm going to just want to keep the stock angle in this knife. So I'm just going to raise it up until just that very edge, edge of the blade touches the stone. Once I have that angle, I am going to lock everything in place. I'm going to lock my wrist, I'm going to lock my elbow, and I'm going to also lock my shoulder in place so that nothing moves. I actually use my other hand to not necessarily push the knife along the uh, surface of the stone, but I use it as another point of contact. And I do the same thing with this arm. I lock my hand, my wrist, my elbow, and even my shoulders to a certain extent. I do all the movement with kind of my torso area. And that's essentially what that looks like. I know it looks goofy and it may seem goofy, but I think that's the best way, at least for me, to really lock in an angle. I uh, would probably recommend against using your wrist to do the sharpening and uh, focus 100% on uh, maintaining that angle with your wrist. The reason that I would recommend against using your wrist to go back and forth on the stone is because we're using our wrist to maintain our angle. And I like to separate those two movements. I want to use a different muscle group or a different joint to move the knife across the stone. And separating those two things is what I think really helps you lock in that angle and uh, uh, really get a better end result. Now I know all this sounds kind of silly because we're not uh, sending spaceships to Mars or anything, we're just sharpening a knife. But this is what makes the difference between having a sharp knife and having a knife that's, wow, that is insanely sharp. So here's something else that I haven't really heard a ton of other people talking about and that is I think everybody, whether you're right or left-handed, is going to have a good side and you're going to have a bad side. Now, my bad side is actually going this way. My good side's going this way. It's very easy on your bad side to get off of that angle that you're trying to maintain. In the beginning, I even went to kind of extreme lengths to make sure I had that same angle, whether it was, um, you know, getting something to just set under the edge of the blade and locking in my angle that way. And then when I turn the knife over, I do the same on this side because I had a tendency to actually raise the knife up into the stone as I was sharpening. I wouldn't spend a lot of time on your weaker side. I would go back and forth maybe five or six times before I took the knife off the stone 
and looked at the edge and made sure that I was still on the correct angle and I was hitting all the spots I needed to hit. And then going back to the stone, gently setting the knife on the stone and resetting my angle exactly to where I had it before. Because I think on your weak side, you have a tendency to change that angle over time and that's not good in the long run. Now on the strap, I think it's pretty crucial to not use too much pressure, um, mainly because the strap is made out of a soft material and can roll over the edge and round off your edge, which is not something that you want. You want a nice, crisp, clean edge. You know, you gotta remember, this is a delicate process. This is a delicate thing that we're working on. So the more delicate that I think you treat it, the better results you're gonna get. So that's it guys, hopefully this video helps. Uh, remember, consistency is really king when you're sharpening a knife. Um, a lot of this stuff does seem kind of like small and insignificant, but it really does add up for a better end result. So let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, please subscribe, and thanks for watching. I was gonna do this video outside, but it's like pouring down rain outside.